Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. For today's video, we are going to be talking about reasons why you should be a dental assistant. Don't mind me. I'm gonna be drinking my coffee. While I'm doing this, it's my day off. Enjoying life nonetheless. Um, if you're new here, welcome. And if you're not new here, welcome again. So, I've been a dental assistant for five years, and it's been a fun ride. Um, let's talk about number one. And yes, I have my little notebook. I wrote down reasons, like <laughs> reasons why you should be a dental assistant because. Um, I have too many things going on in my head, so I need something to remind me of reasons why. Just kidding. Okay. Reason number one is opportunity for growth. So there is so much opportunity, um, opportunities for growth as a dental assistant. You can learn to uh, um, work in the front. And learn about insurances um, billing and you could work your way up and find an office where you can manage it and become a manager um, or you could also work for several specialties endo ortho um, oral surgery and just work your way up general everything and learn everything there is and you know just opportunities for growth become an rdaef an expanded function become a hygienist um and you will already have the knowledge of dental terminology so opportunity for growth in the dental field is amazing um the things i've seen and the things that people have conquered in this dental field are pretty amazing i know some people who um own a dental office and i know some people who um became like a manager or are traveling dental assistants and yeah either way that's amazing opportunity for growth is a must number one for sure <laughs> okay number two um so pay um pay varies for states and cities it varies for um the amount of years and amount of knowledge you know in the dental field so as i said there's always opportunity for growth so if you start from general and you work your way up um and learn every single specialty you're gonna get the great pay which should be the top pay in your city in your county um personally i just forgot what i was gonna say <laughs> um, um yeah so i work in the um i'm from california i work in the inland empire and pay in los angeles beverly hills area thousand oaks um that kind of nice area the pay is much greater you can see dental assistings getting paid 30 to 35 dollars an hour um i would not drive over there for that amount of money just because um i don't like driving it just i i don't enjoy it as much as other people but over here in the Inland Empire, um, pay is great. I work down the street from my house and I enjoy, I enjoy my pay. I love it and that's that. Um, number three is you don't need a lot of schooling. A lot of people think that being a dental assistant you need years of schooling and that is not true you could go through a community college and get your certificate um, and then you could also do a 
um, accelerated program. I did an accelerated program myself because I am a mom and I figured it worked with my schedule at that time. I was working at Jamba Juice and I was going to dental assisting school. Um, it just worked perfectly with my schedule. Um, my schooling was 12 months, 8 in the morning to 12 p.m. I believe 9, 10, 11, 12, yeah. Four hours, Monday through Friday, 12 months or 11 months, I don't recall. This was five years ago. Um, it was pretty expensive, but if you can do the community college way, I suggest do it that way because it's only like $3,000 instead of paying thousands and thousands of more dollars to become a dental assistant. But you don't need a lot of schooling, just 12 months. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna take another coffee break because we're on number four. Okay, number, f number four is you meet a lot of great people, like a lot of great people. Um, Sometimes it depends on the area that you are working in. You'll meet, you know, sometimes famous people um, or really wealthy people or just very interesting people, great people, interesting people. I've had the opportunity to meet um, two um, baseball players. Um, <laughs> so they signed... Let me tell you a story. When I, I am the back office dental assistant, I received the paperwork and I went over their paperwork and I realized that their occupation was working for this specific baseball league. I was like, oh my goodness, this is so cool. And I was like jumping up and down. I was like super happy. I looked them up on Google <laughs> and I was like, whoa, this is so cool. Um, I had to keep it chill, so I took him to the back and I was like, hi. Um, I called their name and said, hey, I'm going to go ahead and take a panel on you, um, blah, 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 blah. And then we went to another room and then I, I let them know, like, I'm going to take x-rays. And, like, I was working in their mouth and I was like, oh my gosh, but I had to keep it inside. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Um, also, one time... Like, I met this lady that told me she killed her husband back in, like, the 70s, and I was just like, I, I don't know. I don't work there anymore. That was, like, so weird, and I just, I, I don't know. I don't know how to process that. that I was like, whoa. She said nobody found out, and then she told me she was joking. I was like, what? This is insane. So, you'll meet a lot of different people, like, a lot of different cool, weird people. I mean, everybody's weird, right? Yes, because if we were not, if we would not be weird, we would not be normal. Um, so number five is flexibility. Okay, this is my favorite one: flexibility for your schedule. Who likes to work full time? I personally don't like working full time. I don't know what it is. I don't think I was meant for this life. I only like working part time. I get in a very bad mood when I work Monday through Friday and I just feel like I am being a slave and I don't like that. I want to enjoy my time with my daughter and I want to enjoy at least three day weekend and that's how I have my schedule right now. I work Monday through Thursday, um, eight hours a day and Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I have it off, which is amazing. Um, sometimes I have Fridays, like I work on Fridays, which is like once a month, it's no big deal. Um, or I'll work on Saturdays once a month, it's no big deal. But I personally do not work, do not enjoy working full time. Um, I don't know why, I just know I get really grumpy. But the flexibility for your schedule um, and dental assisting is really great because you could find an office who it can hire you part time. Um, my first job, I worked full time and then I switched over to part time. I was only working two days out of the week. And um, then I was like on call. 
So there's many different offices that will offer you um, different kinds. You could become um, a traveling dental assistant, only working Saturdays and Fridays, um, or you can be an on-call assistant. So if a dental office needs a dental assistant for a day because their dental assistant is sick, then you could um, they'll call you and then you could just like temporarily be their dental assistant. Um, or you could find dental office like my office where it's just Monday through Thursday and unless you want to work full time, full time go for it, do you, you know, but that's not going to be me. Um, but yeah, let's turn the page because we're over on this side. Ooh, this one's amazing. Okay, so number six, there's a dental office in every single corner. Like, everywhere you turn, there's a dental office. Like, you're always going to have a job regardless of what happens in the dental office. If you get fired, if you find somebody who's being rude to you, if your doctor is shady and does, like, um, things and violating, like, the laws, then you can find another office. There's a dental office in every single corner. Um, you're always gonna have a job. So if you ever wanna take a break from dental assisting, cause I know sometimes it could get a little bit overwhelming, just know that you have something to fall back under. And yeah, dental assist, I mean, I'm gonna suck for dentists that want to open their practice and they have a lot of competition but for us we don't we're not dentists we could just grab if you want to disrespect me i'm gonna go find another office and it's gonna be your neighbor and i'm gonna they're gonna appreciate my potential no they're gonna appreciate my expertise on dental okay um let's let me take another break <laughs> I'm telling you, I took a break one time. I took a break one time um, for my mental health. I quit this job because it was very overwhelming, very exhausting. And I took a two week break. Um, during that two week break, I was able to focus on my mental health. Um, meditate and do you know positive um, things for myself but after the two weeks were done I went on indeed and just searched up you know dental assisting jobs and I was able to get hired like a day after so um, that's very uh, amazing to uh, you know get hired like a day after because there's always like dental assisting jobs okay number seven is you will not get bored um, you won't get bored because there's always something to do. You're always on the go and you're never not doing anything. And if you are doing some, if you are doing nothing, then your office is slow and just enjoy that time. Enjoy that moment um, of it being slow and just catch up on stalking or whatnot. Um, but you won't get bored. You could always work in different specialties, you know, um, ortho is so much fun i enjoy working in ortho because it's just like a very fast-paced environment and it's just fun you're working on you know aligning people's teeth you're not really working on like getting cavities filled or extractions done or implants or anything like that it's just like more fun and colorful and then you get to see people's before and after so that's really fun ortho or like endo if you work for endo um that is also fun you get to see people's canals and then you get to see the doc the doctor struggle when they can't find a canal and then um they get frustrated and you just stare at them and just <laughs> Um, endo is also fun. A lot of instruments though. Oral surgery is interesting. There's a lot of blood all the time. And it's just... 
I don't like oral surgery. It's really scary. Oral surgery, when they're getting put under for extraction of a number 16 impacted wisdom tooth, and it's like all the way at their jawbone, but they're under and there's blood everywhere and it's gushing. And I just don't, I can't, I cannot do oral surgery. A lot of people can do blood and that's okay. If that's one of you, if that's you, then oral surgery is yours. Do it, baby. But oral surgery and then there's like implants. Implants are so much fun to place. A lot of people think that they're very hard and that they're very scary, but um, it's very easy. Just It's just step by step. Step by step, super easy. Um, and what else? General is everything. There's always like crown, filling, endo, extractions, whitening. General is like completely everything. So there's always something to do. Um, you know, you're not gonna get bored. Oh, number eight, number, number eight, number eight. Num okay, number eight are dental seminars. Guys, I was drinking coffee, so if at the beginning of the video I was like super excited and talking like this, that's because I this is my second cup of coffee, so sometimes my energy levels are like, you know, very calm and just relaxed, and sometimes they're just like skyrocketing up to the moon and just like a jumping rabbit. But Number eight are dental seminars. Um, dental seminars are very fun. I have my registered dental assisting um, um, license, so we have to continue education courses, and some of the courses um, the dentist does pay for us to go to these courses um my office in particular we go to these courses and they are so much fun they give you alcohol yes yes i said it they give you alcohol like it's another world i'm not an alcoholic but when i see my coworkers turns up learning about like um, an iTero um, digital scanning and we're eating like fruit sandwiches whatever they have in and out and we're learning and we're drinking well not me not me <laughs> when everybody's drinking and just having a good time like it's literally like a dental party and I'm gonna dental seminar slash dental parties are so fun I went to one where they had uh, um, a massage therapist they had like four massage therapists and they were massaging everybody for 10 minutes and they were giving like non-stop alcohol they were giving like crawfish a lot of snacks a photo booth it was like the time of our lives dental parties dental seminars are the best california has the best dental seminars prove me wrong just kidding don't prove me wrong because I don't live anywhere else so I don't know if yours has the best dental seminars I'm just being annoying I'm sorry um so number nine so number nine is kind of tricky so working with great staff members are, is really hard to find especially when everybody gets long um, working with a good office who does really good teamwork will make work feel amazing like you want to come into work every single Monday that comes um, by I'm like yes I can't wait to go to work I've never been like oh I don't want to go to work unless I'm depressed and depression would come from a day in my life not a day at work unless someone's doing something annoyingly at work then yes that does become an issue um, but the staff is great we get along really well. The front office helps the back office. Um, we communicate really good and everything just flows. Woo! Excuse me. She just like... Woo! My dog just made like this noise 
and I was like freaking out because I don't I don't want to get kidnapped in my own home. Just kidding. No. no. Okay. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> I completely forgot. Oh yeah, work won't feel like I don't even know, but basically working with staff members that are, you know, everything oh wait. Everything flows very smoothly and nicely and work just feels amazing and then you go to lunch with these co-workers and it's just the best time of your life you're working but you're having a good time and that's what we want you want to be in a dental office where the staff is great if you are putting up with other people's bullshit i think you should quit that office and find your other office next door you know what i mean there's another office next door we know that unless you're like in another city or country um, I don't know because I'm in California, but in California there's a dental office and like every two minutes or three minutes far out like distance from each other. But yeah, um, I think that's pretty much it for today. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I post three times a month. Um, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. I will be posting a video soon on reasons why you should not be a dental assistant. I do want to cover this topic because there's many reasons too, but there's a lot of reasons more why you should be a dental assistant. Um, either way, hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, bye!